the residences of the world's most ruthless dictators. 1. Saddam Hussein's Palace, Baghdad. The Iraqi dictator had over 80 palaces. He built the Al Fa Palace to honor the retaking of the Al Fa Peninsula. The palace has 62 rooms and 29 bathrooms. Hussein rarely visited the place. When he did, he'd sit on a gilded throne with gold lions. Cleaning the palace took between five and six hours. After the 2003 invasion, it became a U.S. troop command center. 2. Adolf Hitler's residence, Berlin. Hitler declared himself the Fuhrer. In 1934, he took over the private apartment of the former German president. Here he named it the Fuhrer von Leader's apartment. Hitler decorated it with art and antiques. Many of them were stolen from victims of his regime. The Fuhrer von Un contained a 6,000 volume library. Hitler claimed to read at least one book a night. 3. Nicolae Ceausescu's home, Bucharest. Under Ceausescu, Romania was heavily in debt, but he was living like a king. In his Primaveri Palace, the residence spans 30 rooms. The indoor pool is adorned with mosaic and marble. The bathroom fixtures are made of solid gold. The palace also has a garden, spa, and gym. 4. Ferdinand Marcus's mansion, Takloban City. Marcos and his wife, Imelda, plundered hundreds of millions. They had about 50 mansions. They resided in a $27 million colonial-style palace. Imelda had a shrine and museum built there. She hired top artists to paint portraits of herself. One showed her rising out of the sea, like a goddess. 5. Benito Mussolini's Villa, Rome. In 1925, Mussolini moved into Villa Torlonia. It had originally been built for Prince Giovanni Torlonia. The dictator paid a nominal rent of one lira a year. The villa features cathedral-like ceilings with frescoes. There are dozens of columns and chandeliers. All are designed in gold and Carra marble. Mussolini had a secret bunker built beneath the property. 6. Francisco Franco's Menor House, Galicia. The Pazo de Mayores was Franco's summer retreat. It's decked out with crucifixes and holy paintings. There's also a gilded Santa Maria model hanging from the ceiling. It was the ship Columbus used for his first voyage. 7. Muammar Gaddafi's compound, Tripoli. Gaddafi's primary residence was Bab al -Azizia. The compound featured the colonel's personal residence, military barracks, a mosque, and an indoor pool. But Gaddafi stayed true to his Bedouin roots. He lived in an air-conditioned tent within the complex. 8. Joseph Stalin's dacha, Sochi. Sochi was Stalin's favorite retreat. He regularly visited his villa until the end of World War II. The villa has wide balconies and a courtyard with palm trees. The building is painted green for camouflage. Even furniture is bulletproof. 9. Enver Hodges Villa, Tirana. Hodge lived in the district for political elites. The entire area was sealed off by the Albanian Secret Service. Hodge had a bedroom with cushioned doors. There was also an escape door leading to a tunnel. 10. Josip Braz Tito's Villa, Bled. Tito had up to 100 residences to call home. Villa Bled is located in the Slovenian Alps. During World War II, it almost became a hotel for Nazi officers. Later, Tito had a massive wall mural commissioned. It depicted scenes of the Yugoslav partisans' resistance.